My name is Simon Lewis and I'm a director of LFH. In my forthcoming talk as part of the Bridge Talk series, I'll be looking at how it can be very difficult for businesses in today's competitive environment to stay focused on the future. The reason it's important to stay focused on the future is because that's what's coming next. So many businesses look at today's workload, today's scheduling, today's problems, running around fighting fires and things like that. Many other businesses focus on what came before, what happened previously. And in both situations, they're not looking at what their customers really want or where their customers are headed, whether it's in the service industry or manufacturing or any other type of organization. And the reason that can become a problem is where you have a workforce whose job it is to deliver on tomorrow's promise for your business. So in my talk, I'll be talking about how these two things need to stay totally aligned so that you can avoid the pitfalls and take advantage of all the successes. Working with Bridge is really interesting because more than any other organization I work with recently, they really understand the drivers for change in business as far as uh, the human cultural aspect is concerned. They really get into people's psyche and they really understand the difference that goes to make the difference in encouraging the change. Now change doesn't need to be difficult, it doesn't need to be complicated, but often it does need to happen. And in any employee environment, people can instinctively, and usually for no valid reason, be quite resistant to that change. And what Bridge does is works with the teams involved to really get them on board and have them understand why the benefits are so important. Once that's done, the rest is really easy. It's really important to have uh, an employee culture. Really, it's the glue that holds the organization together. It doesn't matter what the organization it is, whether it's the service industry or whether it creates products or does manufacturing in some way. It's the people who work within the business that carry the business and they have to carry the business in a certain way in order for the business to succeed. And there are always different circumstances to every problem and across every business. Really the common theme is in the educational side, uh, by which I mean having the team, whoever they are, really understanding why something needs to be done, what it's all about, and then figuring out either collectively as a directive, how to make the change necessary. Sometimes what's really important in organizations is that you need to give permission for creativity to come through. Because if you don't, you don't allow all that pent up energy, enthusiasm, and actually creativity to percolate into the business. Certainly there are different cultural styles to business across different countries and different territories. And certainly, as an outsider moving into a territory for the first time to do business or create a business or run a business, it's really important to understand what some of those boundaries are. And some of these can be really refined nuances. It can take a little while, even a long time, uh, to figure out. But it's really important to, to, to do that because what might be appropriate in one environment, in one culture, in one territory, may just be completely inappropriate in another one. My leadership style is creative, enthusiastic, and as dynamic as I can reasonably be. You've got to be able to show your team that you're prepared to walk the talk. Otherwise, it's just words.